Good morning everyone. Welcome to the discussion of module number one in the subject PS1 entitled The Child and Adolescent Learners and Learning Principles. So introduction for this uh, module. Welcome to the course The Child and Adolescent Learners and Learning Principles. As a future teacher class, um, you need to understand how learners develop in order to provide them with the best learning experience. So as a teacher, you will be responsible for a new wave of students each year in your classroom. So the more you learn about children's development, the more you can prepare for the teaching strategies and materials you will apply in your lessons. So class, um, there are four objectives to be attained at the end of this um, module. So I hope all the um, objectives that I have prepared, um, all students must attain um, all of this. So module one um, includes chapter one in titles, Nature and Principles of Development. So, it is imperative that we understand our students' background through personal, social, and cultural. So, to be able to engineer our teaching strategies to maximize learning. By knowing their needs, we can address their concerns and seek for appropriate support. So, in this chapter class, um, you will learn the relevant concepts, issues, and concerns. So, theories and principles pertaining to Filipino learners. Um, so, class, the process of development involves also beginnings and then endings. So, what was this um, human then? And then what will this human will be in the future? So, a number of researches on human development have been conducted. So, a lot of theories on human development have been also forwarded. Researches on human development continue as existing theories. Some are um, getting corrected, some are being complemented, and others are replaced. So up to the present, several issues on human development are unresolved, and so the search for explanation still continues. Because class, um, some of the researches uh, um, has been um, complemented, but there are also some researches that has been um, replaced. Because the result is not um, validated and they undergo um, re-evaluation or being replaced into a um, new one or simplified one. And then in this unit class, um, you will also acquainted with human development as a process. So the developmental tasks that come along with each developmental stage and relevant issues that are raised about um, human um, development. So there are some um, important terms in the study of development. So we need to recognize when we try to understand how children develop or how human develops. So these are the um, definition of terms. So number one is the development. So when we say development, it is the pattern of biological, cognitive, and socio-emotional changes that begins at the conception and continues throughout the lifespan. So when we say um, development class, um, it includes um, growth and then decline. So this means that um, development can be positive or negative. So it depends on the human or on the human on how um, he or she is being developed when he is or when he or she is getting um, older. So when we say human development uh, class, it is also the pattern of movement or change that begins at the conception. So at the, ver at the very beginning of, the, of a birth of a child, development, um, develop, devel development changes has uh, has been um, happened to his or her life. So, at conception, um, palang nagakaroon na ng um, development process doon. 
Next is uh, we have the growth. So growth refers to physical changes that occur from conception to maturity. And then next we have the aging. In biological sense, it is the deterioration of organisms, so including um, human beings also. So kasama din po tayo sa mga deteriorate. Kasi we age, human um, is getting older. Hindi naman um, human is getting um, is getting on the age on what he or she wants to um, attain. No, um, we age depending on the growth or the development that we are um, taking place. So aging also leads um, inevitably to death. So yes, so as we age, as we grow old, um, we are experiencing then we are experiencing um, some um, health issues, some mental issues, and also some um, age um, age uh, problems. So it will um, lead us into a um, death if we meet the um, lifespan of our lives. Parang um, ibig sabihin, if we meet yung um, pinaka retirement age po natin, we face death. Diba? No one is exempted naman. All is um, um, doon ito. All will be um, all will face the death. Next is um, maturation. So, it is the biological unfolding of an individual according to the plan contained in the genes. Next is learning. It is the process through which experience brings about relatively permanent changes in thoughts, feelings, or behavior. And then environment refers to all the external physical and social conditions that events that can affect us from crowded living quarters to stimulating social interactions. So, in this um, definition of term class, this definition um, has a great impact in the content of the mo of module number one. So, it is important that we must know the meaning of these um, words. So next one class is the processes and periods of development. So the pattern of child development is complex because it is the product of several processes um, which pertains to biological, cognitive, and socio-emotional. So when we say biological processes, it involves um, changes in the child's body. So genetic inheritance plays a large part. Biological processes underlie the development of the brain, gains in height, changes in motor skills, and puberty's um, hormonal changes. So, in this um, biological process, it involves um, changes, changes in the individual's physical um, nature. So, they will experience um, hormonal changes when they reach the period of um, puberty. And then, um, cardiovascular also decline as they approach um, late adulthood. So, all this um, show the biological process processes in um, the development. So, class, when we say or when, when we talk about the biological process, it talks about the um, physical changes in a um, human. Next is the cognitive um, processes. So on the other hand, this involves the child's thinking, in child's thinking, intelligence, and language. So cognitive development processes enable a growing child to memorize a poem, imagine how to solve a math problem, and then come up with a creative strategy or speak a meaningfully connected sentences. So in this um, cognitive processes, um, um, this involves um, changes in the individual thought, so intelligence, and then um, language. So they would move on to um, memorizing word on their first prayer. So some children also um, sing, um, can already sing the 
um, Lupang Hinirang, which is our um, national anthem because in every flag ceremony, they are um, singing it. So children um, tend to memorize it because they are always uh, hearing or singing it. Next is... Um, um, they also try to imagine. So they are. Um, they tend to imagine what it would be like to be a teacher or a pilot. So um, here comes um, the dreams of the children on what they want to be if they um, if they reach adulthood. So dito yung part na nag imagine sila kung paano maging teacher or kung paano maging doctor or kung papaano maging um, pilot. So, yung um, mga ganyang part, it falls on um, cognitive processes. So, they can also um, play chess, and then children can also solve a complex math problem. So, all this um, reflect the role of cognitive processes in development. So, when we say cognitive processes class, it talks about the um, changes in the in the mind of a human. Next is the socio-emotional um, processes. So it involves um, changes in the child relationship with other people. So changes in emotion and changes in personality. So parents nurturance toward the child avoids aggressiveness attack on a peer. A girl's development of assertiveness and an adolescent feelings of joy after getting a good grades all reflect social emotional processes development so um in this um, social emotional processes class this includes changes in the individual's relationship with other people so these are also changes in emotions and changes in personality so, um, from aggressive um, children, they may develop into a um, into a fine lady or a gentleman or otherwise, depending on the um, factors that uh, that will affect them. And then they also um, they may also fall in love and get inspired for life, or may end up betrayed. So, they can also be deserted and desperate afterwards if they have the feeling of um, betrayal. And all this um, reflect the role of socio-emotional processes in development. So, all in all class, um, um, in this um, socio-emotional processes, it talks about the changes in our um, feelings or in human um, feelings. Next is, we have the we have a development follows um, definite st stages. So, although in other books, the sequence of the ages differs, what is relevant is the focus of the development. So, it means to say na in some other books kasi class that we are using or there are some books that um, in the ages, in every stage, is um, there are some changes. So, um, yung ibang mga libro, paiba-iba ng um, ages na ginagamit during that um, particular stage. But, um, it does not affect naman doon sa information because uh, it is relevant because it focuses on development, whatever the um, age period in each stage. Kasi, kung makikita ninyo, parang um, kukunti lang naman yung difference ng age gap in other books that um, some um, students or some instructors are using but if you could um, but if you will focus on the um, development so um, pare-parehas ling pare-parehas din lang naman iyon so we have the stage we have the age period and then we have the major um, features so first stage is the pre um, natal so, it is from conception to birth. So, the major features is physical development. So, in, um, in an infancy, or we call it the early childhood, so it is from um, 0 to 
um, five years old. So they can um, learn to walk. Children or a human can learn to walk. They can also learn and um, take solid foods. So they can also learn how to talk. And then they also learn to control the um, on how to eliminate of body waste. And then some um, some um, children may learn the sex um, differences and then sexual modesty. So um, they are being um, ready na to readiness for reading. So some um, children in this stage can all can already um, read or some are starting how on how to read next is um, learning to distinguish right from wrong and then developing a conscience so those are the major features that arises in in prenatal um, stage next is the um, infancy so this is from birth at full term to about um, 18 months so the major features is um, locomotion, establish um, rudimentary language, and then social attachment. So what is happening during this um, stage? So children um, learn physical skills necessary for ordinary games. And then they um, also learn to get along with age mates. So they tend to um, play in their um, if um, the person falls on under their age. Next is um, they also learn an appropriate sex um, role, and then they also develop um, fundamental skills in reading, writing, and calculating, and then. They also develop acceptable attitudes toward um, society. So, um, they may distinguish um, from right and wrong um, doings. Next is um, three. We have the stage three. We have the early childhood. So, early childhood is about um, 18 months to about six years. So language uh, is well established, sex typing, group play, group play, and then ends with um, readiness for um, schooling. So in this um, stage class, um, achieving mature relation, relations with both um, sexes. Sabi nga dyan is um, they can already, di already distinguish um, sex typing. Next is the um, children can also achieve a masculine or feminine, and then they also know they also know their um, social um, role. Next is um, achieving um, children can also achieve emotional independence of adults, and then. Um, In this um, stage also, they are, um, they start um, going to school and prepare for their um, studies. Um, so next um, stage class is the late um, childhood. So it is about 6 um, to 13 years. So, uh, many cognitive processes become adult, expect in speed of operations and team playing. So, in this stage class, um, uh, children is um, accepting one's um, physique. And then, they can also achieve um, emotional um, independence on becoming adults. And then, um, some are acquiring um, values and an ethical system to guide their um, behavior. And then some children may develop their um, cognitive skills also in this stage. Next is number five, we have the adolescent. So about 13 to 20 years. And then begins with puberty, 
ends at maturity, attainment of highest level of cognition, independence from parents, and then sexual um, relationship. So, in this stage class, um, children can now select their um, mate. So, they also learn to live with a partner. And also, um, um, they can also start they can also start their own um, family in this um, stage and then some are uh, some also can uh, rear their um, children and then um, some um, children can also start um, having their occupation and then they also um, assume um, civic um, responsibility Next is the young adulthood, so it covers um, 20 to about um, 45 years, and then the focus on this one is um, career and family development. So in this um, stage, um, helping, teen helping teenage um, children to become happy and responsible adults, so these are the main um, characteristics that is being developed into human in this um, stage. They also learn um, achieving adult social and civic um, responsibility and then they also have the satisfactory career achievement and then they also develop adult um, leisure time and activities. And then um, next um, stage we have the midlife it is about 45 to about 65 years. So career reaches the highest level. Self-assessment, emptiness, emptiness crisis, in crisis, and then um, retirement period. So um, in this stage class, um, it relates to one's spouse as a person. So um, um, human um, reach the stage uh, the stage where um, um, if he or she um, develops a family he uh, he or she relates to his or her um, spouse as a person and then they also accept the psychological changes of middle ages because in these stages there are some um, changes na regarding in their health and because as they grow old, their, their um, health is also at risk. Ne next is, um, they also adjust to their aging um, parent. And then the last one is the late life or the later maturity. So it is about um, 65 years to death. So enjoys family achievements, dependency, widowhood, and poor health. So... Um, in this stage, adjusting to strength, adjusting to decreasing strength and then health. So they also face um, um, health problems in this stage. So they also adjust to retirement and reduce um, some income. And then they adjust also to death of the spouse because there are some um, person or human that if they um, reach their late adulthood, they are already um, in a widowed um, situation. Next is, they can also establish a um, relation, relationship with one's own age group. And then, um, they also meet the social and then civic obligations. And then, they can also establish satisfactory living um, quarters. And then they enjoy um, family achievements also in this stage because in their um, in their career um, lifetime they already have or or they they already get their um, retirement at work. And then um, next we also have the um, lifespan perspectives so there are number of um, perspectives surrounding the understanding of development so what you will see below are the seven assumptions of the breadth and depth of development as discussed by Paul um, Baltz Baltz, uh, Lindbergh and um, 
Stadinger in the year um 2006. So um um when we say um lifespan development so it gives us the following um, characteristics so number one is development is a lifelong um, process so we do not stop growing once we reach adulthood so we continue developing new understandings of our environment and the world around us so our relationship may flourish while maintaining um few friends so in this um Development is a lifelong process. Development does not does not stop. No, I'm um, sabi nga kanina. Development um um starts when a um human or a baby is born. So up to um his or her um lifespan, development is ongoing, and then it does not end in adulthood. Also, it does not mean na namit yun na yung um namit yun na yung teenage life ninyo you are in the middle adulthood is development already stops no it does not stop or it does not end in adulthood so no developmental stage dominates um development so um in the easiest way, we can say that development is a continuous um, process as we grow older. Next is the development is multidirectional. So, um, development is one area in, in or is simultaneous with other um, areas. So, while children are learning, learning to walk, the, their socialization skills are also enhanced. So, in this um, characteristics, development is also uh, a multidimensional. So, development consists of um, biological, cognitive, and socio-emotional dimensions. As I have discussed earlier, there are some aspects in our life that affects our development. So, it talks about our biological our emotional, uh, our social emotional aspects, and even our cognitive aspects. So next one class, uh, next characteristics is um, development always involves both um, gain and then loss. So development at a very age, at every age, involves both. Um, growth and then decline. So, for an example, gaining a capacity for logical thought as a um, school age child may mean losing some capacity for um, fanciful and then imaginative thinking of a pre um, school schooler. So, it means to say that um, development also have a um, give and take process. So, you cannot um, take it all, but if you are um, developing in one aspects, it does not mean that you develop in all in all aspects. So it it, it has a um, process then with which um, we both um, gain and then we both um, loss. Next is number four. We have the development is characterized by a li lifelong plasticity. So when we say um, plasticity. Um, it refers to the capacity to change in response to the positive or negative experiences. So development is um, plastic. So develop um, it said uh, it means that um, development is possible throughout the lifespan. And then next is number five. We have the development is shaped by its historical or cultural context. So a person's Development is affected by the culture and the history of the society he or she grew up in. An example of this is observed in the types of careers students in a particular community or um, pursue. So, um, it is like um, development is contextual. 
So every individuals or every humans are changing um, beings in a changing world. So they change um, depending on their historical and then cultural context. And then we can see it um, um, while they are growing up. So it has a big um, impact in their um, development as a human with regards to their um, historical or cultural content. Next is the development is mul uh, multiply influence. So, um, human development is the product of ongoing interactions between a changing person and his or her changing um, world. So, it's like just um, if, the if, if the person, if the human development of a person um, changes, so it may change um regarding um regarding with the person who have been um or who has been an in have a interaction with that um particular person for an example um he or she may change um his lifestyle depending on um who are those um, friends or who are those um, people surrounds him or her so um, development can be um, influenced directly by someone if you um, tend to uh, mingle with them next is number seven we have understanding development requires multiple multiple um, disciplines so um, Human development is best understood by having knowledge of the of the psychological perspective, biological underpinning, and so sociological context. So, development involves um, growth, maintenance, and then regulation class. So, um, growth, maintain, maintenance, and regulations are the three goals of human um, development. So it says there na it requires um, multiple um, disciplines because understanding development is not easy. It can explain by a simple word or it can um, it can explain by a single word word. I mean it can explain by a single word, but um, is it does not um, includes all the understanding of the meaning of the development. So. Um, that is the seven um, characteristics of development. And then next is um, we have the basic issues in um, human um, development. So there are um, basic issues class in understanding um, development. So there are some issues also regarding um, human um, development. Number one is the um, assumption about human nature. So this is um, original sin according to um, Thomas um, Hobbes or Hobbes 1588 to 1679 portrayed that children as inherently selfish and bad believing that it was society's task to control their selfish and aggressiveness impulses and to teach them to behave in a positive ways. So um, original sin class means that children are genetically bad. So, according to or original sin, um, some children are genetically bad. They believe that it is the society um, to change someone or it is it um, society has the big impact to change um, someone's development. That um, by the children or when the children is engaged in the society, a great impact will change his or her behavior. So this is um, from being bad to good. So it depends on the society that the children is um, facing, facing for. Next is um, letter B, we have the inherently good. So this is according to Jean Jacques Rousseau, um, 1712 to 1778. So, argued that children were innately good, that they were born with an intuitive understanding of right and wrong, 
and they would develop in positive directions as long as societies or as long as society did not interfere with their natural tendencies. So, class, uh -huh. <clears throat> in this um, inherently good, so this is the opposite of the original sin. So, this means um, they believe that children are naturally born good and then that they um, understand what is wrong and or they can differentiate um, right from wrong at the early age and then um, the, the children will grow in a good manner without the direct um, communication in a society so um, they believe that being that children is um, from being good to bad so um, it is the opposite of the original sin so kanina sinabi ko na yung original sin po natin is um, from being bad to good. So, in this inherently good naman, um, from being good, they will become bad if um, society interfere with their um, human or in, with, if they interfere in a um, human um, development. Um, next one is uh, tabula rasa. So, tabula rasa, according to John Locke, 1632-174, so, um, they maintain that an infant is tabula rasa or a blank slate waiting to be written on by his or her own experiences. So, Locke believed that children um, were neither innately good nor bad. They could develop in any number of directions depending on their own um, experiences. So, in um, tabula rasa naman class, um, they believe that a child is born empty-minded. So, that they need to feel that, uh, that the children mind needs to fill in. So, as he or she grows old, that is the time um, when he or she will learn. So, in that blank slate, in, I mean, in, in that blank slate, um, he or she will have a knowledge, so through gaining experiences, as he or she grows older. So, these are the um, assumptions in um, human um, development. Next, number two is we have the, what you call... Um, nature and then um, nurture. So when we say um, nature and then nurture, so nature refers to the behavior and characteristics manifested because of the influence of biological um, forces. So this is the heredity and biologically based um, dispositions. So um, when we say nature also, um, this refers to an individual's biological inheritance. So, what they inherit um, genetically from their parents, it falls on um, nature. Next is uh, the nurture. So, nurture refers to the influences brought about by the exposure to the environment. So, this includes um, learning experiences, child rearing methods, and then societal changes and um, culture. So, when we say nurture class, this refers to the environmental experiences. So, um, children development may affect um, if they have a lot of exposure in environment, especially in the society. So, um, it has something to do with the parents' um, experiences also in their um, child rearing methods, kung paano nila palakihin yung kanilang anak. So, if they tend to um, include um, so much exposure in the environment and uh, um, in their um, child um, development, the tendency is um, there are some um, changes regarding his or her um, behavior. So, when we say um, nature and then nurture class, it is um, simplified as when we say nature, it is the biological inheritance. And then when we say nurture, it is the um, inheritance with regards to the environment. Next is the 
activity and then passivity so some theorists believe that children <clears throat> that children are curious active creatures who in a very real, in a very real sense orchestrate their own development so by exploring the world around them or by shaping their own environment and other theories view humans as passive beings who are largely products of forces beyond their control usually um, environmental influence but passively strong biological um, forces so in this activity and passi passivity so there are some theories class that they believe that there are some children who are in a active form and there are also children who who belongs to passive forms so it depends upon the um, development um, that happen within that um, children so we could uh, we can um, determine if they belong in active or if they belong in um, passive next is um, number four we have the continuity and then discontinuity so um, discontinuity um, theories pictures the course of development as more like a series of stair steps each of which elevates the individual to a um, to a new and presumably more advanced level of um, fu functioning. So, um, next one is the continuity. We have the theories view um, development as a process that occurs in small steps and then without sudden changes. So, continuity versus discontinuity uh, means um, it does not... I, Development involves gradual or the cumulative change or um, yung sinasabi po natin um, continuity. So, when we say continuity, this is the um, cumulative change, cumulative change in a um, person. If we say um, this continuity naman, this is the distinct changes of a um, person for example for an example is the quant um, quantitative changes and the qualitative changes that is um, that will happen in a um, human as he or she develops and then um, the last one is the um, universality and context um, specificity. So, the extent to which developmental changes are common to everyone or universal or different from a person to person or context specific. So, um, in this universality and then content, I mean context specificity, the, there are also um, developmental changes. So, if it is um, universality, so the there are some common um, reasons or there are some um, common changes that happens in a human or in a children. So that falls under um, universality, the common um, changes that happens in a human development. But if it is for but if it falls under um context if specificity, so it means that it has something it has something to do with the specific changes na nangyayari lang po sa isang um, person person to person some may um some may experience um changes like this but the other person um does not um experiencing it so that is the um difference between the two the universality and then context specificity so, um, okay, so um, that will be the um, last, um, last um, topic for this um, module, the assumptions or um, issues on human um, development. So, class, um, thank you for listening. So, have a great day ahead. And then, let me um, live with this quote by William Shakespeare. So, all the world's 
a stage and all the men and women merely players so they have their exits and entrances and one man in his time plays many parts so class um i hope you have um, understood the content of the module and i hope that um, my discussion can help you um, answer all the attached activities in the modules so thank you again for listening and then um, have a great day ahead